Hey everybody, welcome to episode one of Cody's Workshop. I'm Cody and this is my workshop. So for project number one, I wanted to do something that was very interesting to me and I figured it would be a really good challenge that would incorporate 3D printing plus a lot of other things such as uh, airbrushing and painting, uh, detailing, and other cool things. I think it'll be really fun and if you're a fan of Star Wars, you'll like this. Though I'm assuming the title of this video probably tells you what the project is. It is the Kylo Ren lightsaber blade. Now this is a prototype that I made and I call it a prototype because when I printed it out it was about 20% too large and some of the parts didn't print off properly so I gotta rebuild it. So it's a prototype. That's what we're gonna call it. Now like I said it's about 20% too large. The actual model from top to bottom should be what I calculated to be about 10 inches, maybe 10 and a half. This is sitting right around 12. So it's not quite the right size. Uh, and that it increases everything by about 20%. So if we reduce all of that, and I'll do some more measurements. And when I go to print this out, I'll actually do some calibrations to make sure it's printing off the right size so that we have the most accurate replica possible. But so far, I'm really happy with this model. And let me get a little closer so you guys can take a look at some of the finer detail in this thing. So you can see the part where a lightsaber or something cuts into this. You can see the exposed wiring that comes out of it. Uh, just some of the finer details here. There are issues, like I was saying, some parts didn't print out properly. You can see it's kind of missing right in here. So this whole top section didn't actually attach. And that was a pretty large issue. Now you can see right here, you know, there's a part that I didn't actually print out. I just super glued all this together, or not super glued, I tacked it with some hot glue just to get a feel for it. And I didn't put all the parts on here. This is just the base of it, just so I can get an idea of the overall size and measure it and confirm that I was incorrect. <laughs> I had a feeling when I first started printing this thing out that it wasn't the right size and didn't do anything about it. Now I'm paying that price. We said a lot of black filament. Probably need to order some more, but it's okay. So I've done a few more hours of work on the modeling and we'll take a look at the computer here in a second, uh, go through and examine that. And then I'll do uh, a little bit more fixing on all the overall model parts. And I'll explain more in detail when we can see that. But this is, at least for the first stage, what we're gonna try and do is get all the parts reprinted. From there, we'll go into finishing, painting, assembling, and then fine detail work and stuff like that. Then we'll make a cool, a uh, cool, I don't know, stand or something to hold it. Maybe a wall mount. I actually don't know yet. But yeah, so this is our first project. I think it's going to come out looking really cool. Okay, everybody. So here we are. We're in Blender, which is a 3D modeling program. I've been using it uh, you know, for quite a few years now. So I'm fairly, fairly decent at it. Not a professional or anything by any means, but good enough to make a model. I spent a Saturday and a Sunday modeling this thing out off uh, reference pictures that I found online. There were, there's a toy made by the FX company. Oh, that's a $200 lightsaber that they have been selling for quite a few years now. They have one over the Kylo Ren blade. And I was able to take a look at that. Plus, um, the actual prop used in the, moody, <laughs> in, the moody, in the movie was a 3D printed model. At least that's what they have on display outside the premiere of the Star Wars Episode 7. So I was able to get some pictures of that, and all together, I was able to assemble this. And I made everything piece by piece, meaning that none of this, it's not one solid model, it's actually a series of uh, pieces. And I tried to get every piece that I could find and get this as exact as I possibly could get it. I think it's fairly close to the actual, actual blade in terms of design. So let's take a look at all the parts uh, separated. So here's like an exploded view of it. And the reason I chose to make so many different parts when I did this build is because I wanted to have a lot of control over what each individual thing would look like. Meaning I could go in and really sand down like this hilt shield, I'm not really sure what you call it, but where I can go and fine tune a lot of the edges on the corners and Try and get it exact and as perfect as possible. And I couldn't do that if I printed the whole thing out as of like one large model. 
And then I think you would also lose a lot of detail in the printing process. So that's why I chose to go this route. Now here's the connector pins that I was referring to earlier. There's a hole here and then it slides into this pin here. The problem is I misjudged how the sizing should work. And so this is much smaller than this hole, meaning there's a large gap. What I want to do uh, before we continue and begin the printing process, I'm going to go in and tighten up these holes just so that it fits a little bit more snugly. And then hopefully though the inner hole isn't too large. I don't think it is. Let's take a quick look. So you can see how it all kind of slides in. So that's that's actually very nice. I don't need to fix that. So here's what the exploded model look like. Let's look at the individual pieces. Now this doesn't look like it's nearly as many pieces. Some of which like these here and those you have to print out multiple times. Like those are all uh, times six. So six of those parts. Uh, one of those, two of those, and then most of these you just print out once. But I, I'm not really sure what you'd call that bisected these parts. So they're only half. And that allows me to go in and have a flat side to print on. And I tried to set this up to print optimally. So I went and cut them based on where I think they would print out the best. So that's, that's about where we are now. I spent a few extra hours, like I was saying, fixing the models uh, in here. There was some um, inverted polygon stuff, so it was getting me having some weird flipped normals. And so I had to go in and cut out a lot of things and it was kind of a pain. You can see, looks like there's an error over here. Yeah, it printed out okay, so I don't know. We'll, we may take a look at that and try and get that fixed up as well. So let's go in and let's just start finishing this.
Well, I was able to get all the models cleaned up and now they're ready to print. So here in about three to five days, all 30 parts will be completed and we can begin the next phase of this build. But for now, that has concluded the modeling and printing phases of the Kylo Ren lightsaber build, project number one from Cody's Workshop. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned because here in another week or so, we're going to have the next part of the build and we're going to get a little closer to being done. See you then.